Yo, what's up guys? I'm Harigon. Welcome back to episode 9 of this Pokemon Sacred Gold Egg Lock Challenge. In the last episode, crazy stuff happened. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. But I'm going to spoil it, so I'm going to give a moment for you to go back. <laughs> okay, so last episode, we lost two Pokemon. We did it because we had to. We almost lost the Egg Lock. And, but we managed to do it thanks to one Pokemon. You know who it is. So the, cha the team changed a lot. So let's get a quick team recap before we start out this episode. But if you are excited to see today's episode, be sure to pick up that like button down below and all that good stuff because your support is always greatly appreciated. So first up, we got the champ, the Monferno level 20. The champ is here. Uh, Adamant Nature holding the leftovers. He knows Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Double Kick, and Blaze Kick. Yeah, I think I leveled all them all up. Uh, between this episode and last episode and next up we got a new member to the team Comex, the war turtle now not a score the war turtle uh yeah he has pokey rust actually i didn't know that so we might actually get pokey rust on all our team before we start the uh throughout this episode but he knows bite water pulse water spout and aqua jet pretty nice move set uh, I, I made him learn a few moves other than just pure water type moves just to change it up a bit and next up we got godzilla the tyrannic or the larvitar level 20 holding the quick claw and, uh, what is it? Brave Nature? Alright, he knows Iron Head, slide, Rock Slide, Outrage, and Earthquake. And next up, we got the Savior of the Egglock, the Sea God. The Lugia, level 21, holding them leftovers. He knows Weather Ball, Water Pulse, Gust, and Shockwave. I think I changed up his uh, moveset a lot between this episode and last episode. So, it's a pretty, it's a more of a mixed moveset now. Next up, we got another new member to the team, Shadow the Gibble, level 20, holding the experience share, knows Iron Head, Sand Tomb, Outrage, and Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage might actually help, especially in this uh, early in the game. And last but not least, we got our starter, Big Mama the Ivysaur, level 20, holding the Miracle Seed, knows Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, Petal Dance, and Energy Ball. And that is the new team right now. So, uh, pretty crazy stuff. We got it. For today's episode, we're gonna, like, we're going to search up the next route after Azalea Town. And I think we have to battle Ginger at, well, before we do anything else. So, uh, yeah, let's go on and get into it right now. I have Champ up front. I've, I'm pretty fine with that. And here we go. We got Ginger right here. Crazy stuff. But, yeah, if you uh, if you still want to send eggs or have other people that you think would be sending eggs like other friends, be sure to share this video around because I'm still taking eggs until the 16th gym badge. And, uh, yeah, so... Let's get into this battle. I just completely skipped over his text already. <laughs> but that kind of sucks. But oh well. But yeah, so the way to send eggs, the link is in the description for the video and all that stuff. Of course, like in every video. And first up, we got Murkrow. That's kind of scary because he has a wing attack. But I'm going to go in and... Ooh, is this smart? Is this smart? What else do we have against a fire fighting a flying type? We can have Godzilla. Let's do it. Because I think Murkrow is going to have like freaking... He's going to use, like, wing attack on my champ, and I don't want to risk it. And there's the wing attack. Boom, I knew it. Out predicting these guys like a boss. That only did 9 HP. Ha! Let's go on a rock slide now. He's going to pursuit. You can use pursuit, but you will never get me. <laughs> All right, there we go. They're going to rock slide this guy out of here. It's stab. We're one level higher. And we okay with the crit. Oh, crit out of here. There we go. I think it's, that's the first time I've been able, I was able to say crit out of here. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. All right, cool. And so Shadow's still gaining a little bit of XP. We got Croconaw. Croconaw, I'm betting you that Croconaw's gonna have Ice Fang or something. But hopefully that's not the case and we can okay with the Petal Dance. Croconaw is actually higher level than me too. Yup, it's level 21. God dang. Chill out. Oh, there's the Ice Fang. Why didn't I why did I see that coming? It's pretty common, that's why. And I live it. Oh, but I like myself in Petal Dance. Oh, if this doesn't okay, oh, we're dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Miracle Seed comes through! Yes! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! That's That was a heart drop already to start this episode. Oh, the Miracle Seed coming through. If I, I, I don't think we would have killed if we didn't have that Miracle Seed right there. Woo! All right. That's, that was a Kadabra, right? We have Comex with... Oh, wait, no, no. Kadabra might have Shockwave or Thunder... Uh, an electric type move against us or it might have energy ball that's kind of scary actually oh shoot okay bite disable okay why is comic look at look at war turtle's eyes its eyes are closed <laughs> what the heck all right so he's probably gonna disable so i'm not gonna risk it i'm actually gonna go for aqua jet let's just kill this guy before he can even use anything 
Boom! Get out of here, Kadabra. Not even a chance against us today. Ha! Alright, alright. So far, this battle is, is actually kind of scary against Jinju. Last but not least is a Ghastly. Is he gonna curse or something? But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill this guy with one bite, because Ghastly is frail as heck. Say, you got some nerve coming here. Do you? No, you have nerve coming here. Yep, there goes the curse. Why didn't? Well, how did I see that coming? I'm, I'm out predicting Jinju. You gotta out predict in this game. Gotta be out predicting like a Wi-Fi battle in this game. Because it's a pretty crazy ROM hack. The AIs are so freaking way better than regular Pokemon games. Alright. So there goes Shadow. We defeated Ginger with almost losing a Pokemon. <laughs> but not exactly. Because <laughs> Big Mama is a Big Mama. Nobody messes with Mama. <laughs> not anyway. I hate the weak. So that means he hates himself. So he's emo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they're they are they think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. All right, see you later, boy. All right, so let's go heal up before we search on the next route because I think this is going to be another uh, encounter that we can catch. And so far in this in this egg lock, we haven't forfeited an encounter yet. We're on a roll because of Big Mama's Leech Seed uh, Sleep Powder combo. So I'm going to get my pen and paper out just in case. And let's keep on going. Let's heal up these guys. And uh, pretty soon my guys will have Poke Rush. So that will be pretty cool for us. But uh, yeah, so today was episode 9. Sorry. Oh, I'm, gonna get... I'm feeling a little stuffy today. But uh, yeah, today's episode 9. So it should be out on a Friday. Because if you haven't noticed throughout the past weeks. Uh, I'm still in Colorado as you're watching this. But I just pre-scheduled it. But uh, yeah, the Ilex Forest. So this is going to be a new encounter. But yeah, I, should, I still should be in Colorado in this episode. Well, as you're watching this episode. And, uh, what's going to call it? It should be out on a Friday. And if you haven't noticed, every video has been posted every Tuesday and Friday. Just to, like, spread them all out, through, spread them out throughout the week. Along with the double uploads from BEOCraft. Because <laughs> it's awesome, BEOCraft. Uh, I want to... Uh, it's pretty explicit content, so I wouldn't recommend BEOCraft. But it is a funny series. <laughs> Either way. But uh, yeah, so yeah, every Tuesday and Friday, ha every episode has been coming out. But next week, uh, I should be getting back into town, back to my house, and uh, should be going doing some constant uploads. And uh, oh yeah, so another uh, another what you call announcement that I want to tell you guys, I might actually get back into streaming. Well, no, I am gonna get back into streaming because uh, some person recommended. Some person from my stream... Oh, this is our first encounter, Shroomish. Whoops, I didn't even notice that. But yeah, so some person who used to watch my streams uh, messaged me wanting to say that... Uh, saying that, where did my stream go? And I'm like, oh, that made me feel bad because I stopped streaming completely like for a year. It's been a year since I streamed the last time and so I just left them all hanging. So, and uh, so it's like, dang it. I did just leave it without telling anybody and I feel bad. So I was like... Okay, I'll tell you what. Oh! Oh, that was a crit! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We might be able to catch this guy easily with a Pokeball, though, since it's that low HP and it's asleep. Come on, alright, I'll, I'll explain after we get this Shroom Mist, though. Come on, come on, let's get this Shroom Mist first try. One, two, three. Got him! Yeah, I got the Shroom Mist on our first try. There we go. So, this is Ilex Forest. Let's write this down. Ilex Forest. It's a level 15. Alright, so we're going to have to switch that out later on. The Shroom Pokemon. Call him Luigi. That's my. That's usually my nickname for Shroom is Luigi. Because he's on Shrooms. I'm <laughs> not just kidding. Okay, that's a Swap Pokemon. Alright, there we go. So now we just, we're going to be catching these Farfetch'd. And uh, so back, back to what I was saying. Some person ran from my old stream messaged me saying, Where did your uh, stream go? And I was like, dang, yeah, it's been a year since I've streamed. Kind of sucks. So I was like, I'll tell you what. Like cuz I haven't streamed because I got a new PC since I last streamed so I didn't I was I wasn't bothered to Actually set up the software back on our back on my new PC and plus I lost all the images and settings So it was gonna be a long time before I actually like set everything up and get the software settings Right and all that but I got them down in one it took me a day, but I got all the art I got all the settings back the software is back in check and I am ready to stream but uh, I think the I think the only thing is that like DDoSing might be an issue because I'm afraid that people might DDoS because it, it happened to me like 
three times. It wasn't anything major though, but it's still kind of annoying though. But I still will try streaming and uh, I got a Minecraft layout ready for the stream and I might actually do another Pokemon series live on the stream. So uh, yeah, I look forward to that. If you guys want to check out the stream, it is, uh, I think, I don't know if it is linked in every one of my videos at the bottom, but it is, just look up Harigama on Twitch and you should see me. And maybe even, uh, maybe if, if, uh, things go well, I might actually just stream on YouTube gaming. I don't know. I never tried it, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, cause I think, uh, before that throughout this like whole year, I wasn't able to stream on YouTube gaming cause I got a strike <laughs> on my channel and, uh, but it went away. Like it actually just, the strike actually just expired like three days ago as I'm recording this. It's the 17th right now. It's June 17th for me right now. But this video is being posted like in July, god dang, or almost in July. But yeah, my strike expired on June 13th, so I, I could actually stream if I wanted to. But I don't know. I, I'm i more comfortable on Twitch right now, so I, that's what I would do for sure. Shoot, how am I supposed to get this? Oh, I think I know, I think I know. Okay, so we have to just talk to this far-fetched again. I was trying to go around, but it wasn't working. Shoot, wait, how wait, how are we supposed to do this? <laughs> I'm like blanking out right now. Alright, come here, Farfetch. You dumb boy. But yeah, so whenever I get back from Colorado, like in the early July, I'll probably start up the stream again, so Yeah, if just in case that person's watching. I'll probably let her let that person know. But uh yeah, we'll start trying to stream Pokemon. The Pokemon layout is actually really cool. And, uh, yeah, so Pokemon and Minecraft, that's all I have planned so far. But how the heck am I supposed to get this freaking Farfetch'd? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, okay. Professor Elma's calling, what the heck? Okay. Now these freaking wild Pokemon. I, I, I think I, I could have swore about repels, so I probably could use those later on. Actually, screw it, I'm gonna use it right now. I already got my encounter. Uh, where is it at? I did not buy repels. Unless I just looked over and y'all guys are like thinking I'm an idiot. Uh, no. No repels. Okay. Well, we're going to have to just keep on battling these guys. And there we go. Boom. Get it from behind. Hit it from the back. <laughs> Get that boy. Get that far fetch from the back. <laughs> All right. No Pokemonality here. No, I was kidding. <laughs> okay. You, you saved me. And there goes the boss. He's coming back right in time. Ready to whoop somebody's butt. Ha, my far and fetched. You found them first, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, we, now, how can I thank you? And I got HMO one. Cut the emo HM cut. <laughs> okay, that's the t that's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you can have a gym badge from Azalea to use it, which that's what I had. We sacrificed two Pokemon to get this freaking HM. And uh, here we go. Let's get the. We have to teach cut to somebody. Otherwise, we won't be able to get through this Az uh, Ilex forest. So who can learn cut? Quite a bit of people actually. Shadow, uh, I kind of these move sets are so good. Like I don't want to teach HMs right now. Okay, Sand Tomb. Uh, wait, cut's a grass type move. What? Oh, I just barely noticed that. Okay. That's actually really good, but Big Mama is a modest nature, so Cut is and Cut is physical. I could have actually tied to my Champ though, because that actually could have been useful. It is base 60 HP. It could have replaced Double Kick or Blaze Kick, because um, Fire Punch is the better option. Let me check that actually. 75, 85. Okay, Blaze Kick is more powerful, but I don't trust its accuracy. Double Kick, eh? I I trust Fire Punch better than the Blaze Kick. But oh well, uh, let's see, uh, this is the bugs, so I'm gonna just switch in champ, cause, uh, there's nothing but bugs in here. Halfway done with this episode, and let's try making it to the next town, hopefully. Cause this is just a bunch of battles on the roots, and all that stuff. But that's pretty cool, cuts a grass type move now. I actually like that. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's actually harness the Poke Rust that is probably on our, most of our team right now. Got a free item, we got a woodland ore. What the heck is that? 
all these random items and I don't even know what's going on. Let's see what that is. Uh, that is a chunk of stone birthed from a world of nature. A certain Pokemon is said to react strongly with to the energy inside of it. I have no idea what the woodland ore does. <laughs> Maybe it's an evolution item. I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know. Hey, so use Vine Whip. Oh, uh, yes. Wait, is, Gard is Gardenia a girl? Oh, yes, that feels fantastic. That's incredible. I don't know how to use oh, something, something. Ah, er, hi. I don't suppose you saw that. I should have gu guessed there would be passenger trainers. I'll give you this team if you know. What the heck was she doing? She likes, she like lighting a blunt next to the tree or something. <laughs> the damage grass knot. Okay, we got grass knot. Didn't we, j wait, Gardenia. Is she a gym leader too? I don't know. What the heck was Gardenia doing? Some sketchy stuff in Alex Ferris. You got a free super potion. Everything's better when it's free. Hashtag Halloween. Okay. This is the way to get the HM headbutt, right? Or TM headbutt. I think. I'm not sure. Let's just search up this Ilex Forest after we just fire punch the heck out of these guys. And let me actually check if my Pokemon have Pokerust yet, because it should have spread from Shadow. Yep, everybody has Pokerust now. Alright, we gotta make sure we get the most out of this Pokerust, because this is the one time opportunity right here. Especially in Ilex Forest. Because Champ is just okay on everything. Oh shoot, this guy's going crazy, man. He's mad and just headbutting the freaking trees. What's up, man? What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it with your Pokemon, too. Which Pokemon should learn it? Doesn't somebody already... Comic shouldn't learn headbutt. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What does Comex know? I could have swore somebody already knew headbutt. Actually, this could be useful for us because... Uh, shoot, I, I like its moveset already because I like Water Spout because of power at full HP, but then Water Pulse for constant damage. Aqua Jet for priorities and bite just for type coverage i'm about to say no to aqua jet or headbutt <laughs> Pete, please take care of its head what the heck who can learn it though because i kind of want somebody to learn headbutt just in case uh just in case uh whatchamacallit we can learn new moves in other towns or we can like headbutt trees in towns that we wouldn't otherwise be able to get encounters from but shoot i i love these guys move sets though i don't want to get rid of them let's keep on going let's ignore what could have been <laughs> don't dwell on the past guys don't dwell on the past all right more shroomish to get fire punched out of here and get leveled up with my pokey rust oh no that's not good i could have swore i bought some potions though or some antidotes okay new game plan don't kill shroomish <laughs> Okay, burn heal. We bought some antidotes. Thank you. All right. Champ is here. All right, let's keep on going. And there should be... Okay, we're going to talk to a kimono chick right here. Okay. Kimono girl, kimono girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Ilex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out this forest? You will? Aren't you lost in this forest as well? Do you know how to get out of here? Champ knows because he's been killing all these guys since 1983. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> okay, see you. All right. But yeah. So so yeah, the Twitch stream. Get. I'm already hyped for that. I might. Yeah, I'm already hyped for that new stream though. I'm. I don't know. Pokemon and Minecraft. Those are the only games that I think I would stream though. Uh, what else is on my channel for now? I don't know. I don't think I'll vlog the my trip, but uh, <laughs> okay, let's keep on going. We have made it outside of Alex Forest, and yeah, let's talk to people because you never know what we can get. And there is Cynthia waiting for us right there. What the heck? Okay, try using this TM for a change. Oh, well there you go. You get a free TM from this guy. What is that? Bug Buzz? Hopefully, it's Taunt. Okay, eh, that's all right, I guess. All right, what does Cynthia want? Well, hello, Hari. I had a feeling I might. See you pass through here. You're probably wondering why I'm even here. I found an odd little artifact that I felt you might somehow be able to use. It's known as the odd keystone. Here, you can have it. And we got the odd keystone. I don't think we can use that in this generation, can we? It might be worth taking around to to the well in Azalea Town. I've heard of sightings of weird Pokemon there. Well, I hope it proves useful to you. On a side note, you should come visit the new archaeological building in Goldenrod City. It's in the process of replacing that old bike shop. 
Well then, see you. Okay, so... The well in Ilex Forest. Is that what she said? We might... That actually might be worth checking out later on. But we still have 10 minutes and I want to actually just make it to the next town for one episode. Because... Taking one whole episode just to make it into... Just to battle people and roots and all that. Kind of don't... I kind of want to like skip over those episodes but... On the side note, there might be some crazy battles and more encounters in these episodes, so uh, don't want to skip them over. And I think this is actually a new encounter, too. Might want to actually look out for that. Okay, so that's an Electrike. Let's not do that. Uh, let's fire punch the Electrike and let's switch out into... I was going to say switch out into Cubone, but hey, what do you know? We can actually switch into Shadow because uh, Shadow is a ground type. Go, Shadow! Fire punch that guy. Oh, of course. Of course I get static. Well, that sucks. Okay. Uh, what should we do? L let's uh, thunder punch that guy. And let's uh, go ahead and drag rage that elect electrite. Because it should definitely kill that electrite. And these guys are level 20 as the same as me. Like, god dang. I can't be over leveled. There's no being over leveled in this game. <laughs> it's either under leveled or on par. And he gets screwed up either way. Champ is level 21 now. That's good, good, good. Shadow is now level 21 as well. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was a crit. That's kind of scary. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the phone real quick. Let me switch into my comics. And let's go ahead and iron head that Kranidos. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Oh gosh. That did a lot of damage. Oh, they're double teaming me. Okay, let's go ahead and Aqua Jet that Kranidos. And let's cut the Snubble. Now let's Dragon Rage just to be safe. And get out of here, Kranidos. Two Pokemon down. Now we just got to jump this guy right here. Boom! Get out of here. Alright, cool. One Pokemon left. There's a Spoink. Oh, get Bite out of here. Uh, let's go on an Outrage for the heck of it. Oh, it doesn't... Wait, does Outrage kill all the Pokemon on the battlefield in this generation? I don't want to test that. <laughs> All right. Psybeam. Oh, gosh. That's kind of scary. Okay. That's actually kind of scary for me because uh, my Pokemon are a little low HP. Not where I want them to be. Okay. So, let's take the experience off of Shadow now. Uh, let's go in and give it to Comex. Because, uh, yeah, he's level 20 and doesn't have any other items to be held. Okay. So, do we? can we get a Spiritomb in this game? I am not sure, but just in case, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and look that up in the next episode, though, just to be safe. So, I didn't even see the well, though, in, uh, in the Ilex Forest. Or did he say Azalea well? Did he say the Azalea well? I don't even know. <laughs> Freaking Cynthia, I'll have to look over this, back over this episode. But uh, what am I trying to do? I need to... God dang it, I need to sell that revive, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm trying to heal up all my Pokemon just in case I need to use them in future battles. And I only have two Super Potions. I'm about to stock up on that real quick. I'll use a Potion. I'll just use one Potion on each of my Pokemon. There we go. That's good enough healing for me. Okay, let's keep on going. Professor Elm is calling us. What the heck does he want? Let's just get on to Goldenrod City. Apparently something called Pokerus. You already told us that. What the heck are you talking about? Okay, we already have Pokerus. We already know what that does. Okay, <laughs> okay, so let me. J I'm getting really sidetracked, guys. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> okay, let me check. So we were just in Ilex Forest, Azalea Town, that we just came from Route 33, and this is Route 34. So we can get a new encounter in Route 34. So let's go ahead and try that out right now. Route 34 encounter, it's going to be a a Mime Junior. Okay, so we gotta let's actually put it to sleep first before he uses Psybeam. Of course he uses of course he misses against the psychic type. Good job, big mama, good job. Okay, let's uh let's lead seed it. I'm afraid that Why am I missing all of a sudden against this guy? Okay, there we go. Oops, don't mean to do that. Now he's gonna lead seed me, but you can't, so ha sucks for you. Put it back to sleep. Alright, so here we go. I'm not gonna write down the route just yet, just in case I don't catch this guy, but I'm pretty sure. I should catch this guy. I should catch a Mime Jr. Oh, shoot. What? First Pokemon. <laughs> Our first Pokeball. One, two, three. Boom. Got him. All right. So let me write down Route 34 now. We have not forfeited an encounter yet in this series. Like, god dang. What level was it again? 
Okay, let's get a nickname to it. It is level... Uh, don't even see, so... We'll have to write it down. After we get back to Goldenrod City. Moving through the city. Okay, so I'll write down the, la the level later on. Alright, but anyway... I was about to say, can I avoid this battle? But <laughs> apparently not. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Good for you. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I think... I kind of want to hatch another egg by the end of this episode, but... I don't know if that'll work. Seismic Toss. Oh shoot, that'll do 20 HP every time. Oh, but Pedal Dance is more than that. Alright, let's switch. Let's go into... Who has a Ground-type move? Godzilla has a Ground-type move. So let's switch into him right now. Earthquake! Oh shoot! That's kind of scary. Freaking Double Kick, man. Whenever Godzilla evolves, that's going to be no bueno for us. Okay. So Route 34 still. We're still in this place. Energy Ball is Bonsly. I don't know why, for the longest time, I thought Bonsly was a uh, grass type. Because of those three little green balls on its head. <laughs> Could have swore it was a grass type. So I was like, why isn't this fire type working against this guy? <laughs> why isn't Flamethrower working against Bonsly? <laughs> but uh, later on, I found out that it was a rock type. So we're all good now. Grandpa. Oh, it's Lyra the Starbucks chick. Okay. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been healthy as can be. You look fit too. Hi, Hari. You're not even looking at me. What the heck? <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Hari. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, but of course. Follow me, Hari. Let's go and get a Frappuccino. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I feel weird talking like that. Actually, we can hatch a Pokemon egg right here because there's a PC right here. So uh, there's a Pokemon box. Let me introduce you, my friend. This is Hari. Aha. Oh wait, aha, I'm just bite. This is your boy friend, I see, huh? I got a girlfriend. <laughs> My girlfriend Lyra, huh? No. Nah. But grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha, I don't know. Since you bothered me, Lyra, would you You must be sure about his talent. Right, Hari? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya S later. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokegear number. Oh, I got Lyra's number. She definitely wants the beak. <laughs> She's my girlfriend, right? All right, so let's go in and catch one more egg before we end off this episode. I'm just gonna hatch one egg, and then next episode we'll hatch another egg. Let's spread out the egg hatches, cause I don't want I don't want to hatch a bunch of eggs in one episode and then no egg hatches in the next episode. All right, so let's keep on going. And uh, so we left off with the uh, swap. The Shroomish. By the way, I leveled up on my Pokemon with rare candies. Except for Way Crazy, I think. Yeah. Alright, so swap. This is a level 16. So, level 16. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out uh, the Shroomish first. I don't know where we left off, though. Alright, let's put Champ over here. Okay, so let's move this guy. Uh, let's move this guy. Put him on our team. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my Dice Roll app. As, as well. So where do we leave off? Three dead Pokemon, man. Okay, so four in box four in box two, four in box three. Okay, so we left off in box four. So let me get out the good old handy dandy dice roll app, and then we'll hatch an egg and then be good to end off the episode. So rolling the dice, row four, column four. Okay, well that is right between the Magikarp and the the Togepi. So let's go in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom! And we got hashtag Seps for Prez holding TM15. Sep. Where have I seen that name before? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Is this what I is this egg who I think egg this is? If it's if it's an Eevee, I know who this is. What are the odds? No way. What are the odds of this get of me hatching this egg? Is it an Eevee? Oh! Fox! What are the odds of hatching your egg, man? That's insane! We actually hatched your egg! What? Wow, that is actually really sick, though. <laughs> Isn't it Sneps, though? I'm gonna put Sneps. Well, no, I'm not gonna change the nickname. I saw it as Seps, so... Wow. Wow. Snaps wouldn't have fit anyway, so. 
<laughs> that is freaking hilarious. We actually had your egg. You saw the dice roll. That was random too. So let's check his move set real quick. Just because, just because I'm checking everybody's move set. So all right, let's check the EV move set. And before it only has like tackle or something. All right, generation four move set. And I'll, he didn't give me an evolution stone too. It has Poke Rust. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't want this EV to be hatched. Okay, let's go to Heart Gold Soul Silver. It has, let's see, it has Covet, uh, which is a um, egg move, detect egg move, tickle egg move, and yawn egg move. Boom, 100% legit. And uh, that's gonna be whenever I, if I do decide to use this EV, uh, it should be leveled up to level 15. So let's write down the EV. What a way to end off the episode right there. Hatching a good friend's egg. <laughs> <laughs> that's two that's two after uh i want to say aftershock but one of them wasn't or was an aftershock member but that's two of them that i actually talked to before that we had their egg all right so oh i forgot to take off the item that i was holding oh what is tm15 though tm15 is growl what the heck <laughs> okay so i don't think it was that important but, uh, okay, so that's a good time to wrap up today's episode, though. What a way to end off today's episode. So, next episode, we'll hatch another egg from Mime Jr. And then we'll head on over to Goldenrod City. And, uh, actually, we need to rename Flanders. So, we'll head on with that business. And I think there's more gift Pokemon and another gym leader in Goldenrod City. So, a bunch of stuff to be, uh, searched up in next city, in the Goldenrod City. And, uh, I should be back in town by the next episode. So, uh, but definitely, I will try, uh... Instead of Tuesday and Friday episodes, I'll try getting a Monday. I'll try uh, uploading more consistently throughout the week. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to that stuff. But anyway, so that'll be for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pack up that like button down below and all that good stuff. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'll see you over in the next episode. But until then, stay safe, guys.